mixed assets for us compose the life cycle and target date uh, area primarily, although we, we go broader than that. And for us, what that's really about is providing solutions, particularly retirement solutions for our clients overall, giving them a, a set of uh, established guidelines and a way of investing that will overall help them to reach their retirement goals over time. It's a way that they can feel pretty comfortable that they've got different asset classes, stocks, bonds, and in some cases, even more. And they can reach their goals over time in a way that, that, that the funds are rebalanced and that they're set up in a way that helps them reach their long-term goals. Well, I think that it's important that investors, people, don't get caught up in the noise. Yeah, there's always things going on, whether it's political events, you know, the markets can be in turmoil and things like that. But when it comes to the big goals in life, particularly when you're starting out young or even middle age, to think about saving for college education, saving for retirement, or other long-term financial goals, Focus on the long-term goal. It really is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And so these mixed asset products like, like, like life cycle or target date funds and the like, they're really meant to have a glide slope or a glide path that, that mirrors someone's life. So it's gonna be there for the long run. It's gonna help you achieve your goals for the long term. And a lot of that noise about po politics or about market events and things like that, those are things that shouldn't distract people from putting money away, getting the power of compounding, and getting the benefit of having a mixed asset class that will overall lead to good returns. We are so blessed to have great investment teams that remain really, really focused on just doing every day what they are really, really good at, and that is picking stocks, picking bonds, following the market, doing the research that needs to be done, and trading really, really efficiently. We do it all at a cost that's competitive as well. And what's nice is that even though our firm, TIA, Global Asset Management, has grown really in a huge way, it's become a much more global firm, it's become much more of a third-party asset management firm as well as what we do for TIA. Even through all of that, we have kept our investors, the investment teams, the portfolio managers, the traders, the research people, we've kept them out of that. We've just let them focus again and again on what they do well, let them be immune from all of that noise. They've continued to do that. Bottoms up research, really, really focused on, on getting the best execution, finding the right picks, and, and they've just done a great job. So in some ways, uh, a lot's changed at our firm for the positive, but in a lot of ways, at least for our investors, nothing's changed at all. They've continued to focus on their knitting just as they have before. What inspires me is providing great solutions to our clients. I mean, that's the thing that gets me excited every day when I wake up is to think that, you know, we've got literally millions of clients that entrust us with their savings to help them achieve their retirement goals or college savings goals or whatever it may be. And so we just want to do right by them. And we've really grown out our global asset management business in a big way. We're serving more and more clients across bigger parts of the world for all different kinds of reasons. We've expanded a lot, but at the end of the day, it's really about providing great returns and great solutions for our clients.